All right, everybody. So what I'm doing here today is um, I bought some setters. These are my these are number five ridgers, my beaver traps, and uh, they're four coil. They're very strong. I was gonna take the two two of the coils off. I can't set them when I'm in the water. Um, but so I ordered this, uh, these setters, and I thought that was gonna eliminate that problem because you're supposed to be able to set the trap with uh, just put one down and pull it to each other and hold it. But um, uh, these are MB650 setters, but they're for the wire spring, so um, I didn't I didn't understand that. And, and I don't. It's it's my own fault, so I don't want to send it back. But I have an idea, and I, I think I'm gonna be able to make these work. I'll show you the steps I'm going to go along to do that. I've already started on this one. I'm going to have to cut. I put a notch and rolled that up over that hook to where I'm going to be able to get this in here. But to do that, I'm going to have to cut this down just a little bit, narrow it down. This side here that needs to go down and then underneath of those springs is not long enough so I'm going to have to cut this off, move this bar up and, and re-weld it and hopefully that'll that'll eliminate that. I'm going to have to make this just a little bit wider too to go over this but we'll get there. It, it's, it just needs to fit underneath those springs and that this, this crossbar needs to be up above this spring to hold it to run it down so we'll get it um, but stay tuned I'll show you how I'm going to do this. All right, everybody, so I got you zoomed in here. I got the trap set. It's in the vise, so it can't go off. I mean, it's it's solid in there. Um, what I'm gonna do is I got this little mini uh, hacksaw, and I'm gonna come right inside this lever. Don't go all the way to the edge, just come in just a little bit so it gives that still a shoulder to catch when it, when it goes off. And I'm just going to cut up this way, and I'm going to cut up this way on the bottom. And then once I get that cut, I'll bring it back, and I'll show you. I'm going to take a chisel and roll that up around that spring. Stay tuned. Okay, I forgot to mention this. This the spring goes across here. You could add, you could either cut this off, this part here. I hope you can see it good enough. You could cut that off flat. It does not need to be that L shape. It doesn't need to be, but I'm going to leave it. What I do is just take a pair of channel locks or uh, vice grips and uh, just bend it up out of the way. That's all you got to do. And it's not going to hurt nothing. Then that gives you this little extra edge here that you're going to you're going to cut out and uh, roll over. To get and it's just gonna roll over that spring anyway so like I said you can either cut it off or bend it off all right I got that so or sawed I, I like I said I bent the spring up and I just uh, got done sawing up here probably somewhere around an eighth of an inch just up to the spring so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take the vice grips again and just kind of turn that over to where it's wrapped up there around that around that spring and then that, that's going to give us an opening for when I cut this down that's going to fit in that's going to fit in there and that's going to be your your entry point for for this part of the setting tool. So stay tuned. I'm gonna I'm gonna mark this right now while I got you on for how wide I need it to cut it down. So I need to I need to cut it down to that width. So I'll get the grinder out and I'll I'll cut this down. Stay tuned. Alright, I actually found a little bit better way of doing this. In 
with everything, first time you do it, you'll find something easier. I got a pair of um, channel <laughs> vice grips. I keep saying channel locks, I don't know why. A pair of vice grips holding this trap so it can't go off. Um, I got that cut like I showed you. So I'm just gonna make it easier on myself than trying to bend that around. I'm just gonna hit it with a chisel and wrap that around there like that. And then maybe take a punch to finish it. I know this is a lot of work, but, and people would think I'm crazy, but like I said, it's gonna make my life easier in the long run. That I'll have setters. To, there, that's wrapped around that spring. So I, I mean, at least now I'll have setters to do this. So. how that part works now I got that cut down narrower to fit into here where I where I bent that up around that spring and then this just fits on here and then you just pull down on this and then that holds it right to the base of your, your trap so then when I get this one to this side I'll pull this down, then you'll be able to hold them both together. You'll be able to hold that trap open with one hand. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take that grinder and I'm going to cut this off, cut this off, um, and I'm going to move it up here. Um, I think I'm going to have to put like a piece of pipe or something in here and pound down and widen this because it's going to have to be wider than, than that. See, it'll fit, it'll fit over it there. But once I get it up to where it needs to be, it's not going to be quite wide enough. I mean, I'm just going to have to bend it a little bit, but it won't hurt nothing. So, Okay, so I cut that bar off. And now I'm, I put it over my springs. And I'm marking it. There's the top. I got it marked there. And right here is where it's the right width to fit over those springs. So what I'm going to do is put it in the vise here. I'm going to bend this up straight, and then, then from there on we'll have our angle. But this is just, I just want them to be wide enough to go over the springs. Instead, I mean, they could go like that. I could weld that bar back into here, but I, I just, I want it behind the springs the way it's supposed to be. And then, uh, then I'll take, and I'll weld this back in. So stay tuned. All right, so I got this bent at those marks. So it, from here now it's straight here to where it'll fit over that spring lever. And I got a piece of round stock. The piece that I cut out of here is actually too short. So I got another piece of round stock here that I'm going to go ahead. I'll mark it and then I'm going to... I know my hands are in the way. But I'll mark it and then I'll tack that right there. And then that's going to be hopefully the the end of this. And I mean, I think they're going to work great. So let me get this welded on there, and then I'll bring you back. All right, everybody. So I got that welded up. Back in business. Sits over there perfect. Sits right right onto those springs, and then right on the top of this lever. And we take this one that we cut down. Put it into that notch that we uh, did on that spring. 
pull them down together like that. And see, I can hold that trap with one hand. And now I can set this while I'm out in the water. There you go. Bridger number five setters. <laughs> uh, pull this down. That's going to make my life so much easier to have these um, out in the water because before I could not set these with my hands over my knee. And if I was in too deep of water, I couldn't do it anyway. And a lot of times I'd have to take this uh, quick link off and take it to the bank to get it set. But that's going to make everything so much easier. What I think I'm going to do, I'm going to drill a hole in here and uh, put a put a piece of string between this one and, and then tie it to this one so that they're together. And then I think I'm going to paint them yellow or something so if I lay them down I don't lose them. But yeah, that's that's pretty pretty sweet for me, you know. Like I said, I ordered the wrong setters, but that was my fault. One more time. I mean, I'm not saying it's easy easy, but it's not you know, I can do it. Before I couldn't not in the water. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Man, this, like I said, this makes me happy. I just got to go through the rest of these traps. And uh, I got two more that I got to do that just to the to this lever. That's all I got to do. But the setters are done. Um, and I think I'm going to order another half dozen of these. Because I want to have at least a dozen drowning rods and a dozen traps ready to go this year so till the next video man i really appreciate watching Pre appreciate all the support the trapping's coming just what you i can't wait and uh pretty soon it's gonna it's gonna be here so st stick around for that you're you're gonna i think this is gonna be a good season I, I mean i really think this is gonna be a season to remember last year was a season to remember for sure for me but uh this season here i think is gonna be something special too so stay tuned Next, after, till the next video, good luck with everything.